Bitcoin update for all of you beautiful people. Thank you for liking the video as well. So today we have had a bit of a dumper rumper. Okay, we did also put out a uh, free thing for you guys that follow me on Patreon for free. Okay, uh, we did put this out today and that has actually played out and it was a beautiful trade. We did get in it as well. You can see here uh, that 66 Dora coming through uh, from this thing, which is fantastic. Okay, so um, yeah, yeah, just building that balance up covering from a quick loss and uh, hopefully continuing the streak here if if all goes well. All right. Besides that, we are seeing energy value coming through here at 74.8. And again, guys, just feel free to just follow me on Patreon. It's free. Okay. It's just a follow button. No credit card. No, nothing like that. F follow me on Patreon and you get one of these free signals every single weekday. Okay. Uh, good stuff there. Uh, but yeah, besides that, we are just looking at this. I'd probably expect a little wave up here generally. Okay. We are seeing these inflows increase as well for the ETF stuff. So smart money is waking up. That's fantastic. Didn't mean to click that. But uh, yeah, let's move over to the chart here. Let's move over to the chart. We can see that uh, we did have this CME gap we talked about previously, right, as the week started, and uh, that has now been filled. So just more data to say that these, uh, these CME gaps are getting filled in the next week, and it is something that we could potentially trade in the future with there being enough data to support this, right? So we can see it here, we can see it here. Uh, we can see it here as well. Okay, so pretty much all of these CME gaps are getting filled in the next week. So uh, yeah, just another beautiful edge that we're going to be trying to capitalize on uh, for this. And feel free to follow me on desk uh, on on fair desk here uh, for uh, for any of that to copy my trades, right? But if we are looking at this right now, this is the signal we did come through at. And uh, yeah, the reason why we took this trade, guys, was very very simple, as we talked about yesterday, breaking our support line, retesting the support line, and then as we break the low, just a, a picture perfect trade, we get in the short and we look for, I mean, initially we we're looking for around 60K as the number. Okay, that's where we are right now. Okay, uh, just a quick 1% trade, and we didn't really want to hold it too long just because my uh, my exchanges all have different prices, right? So some of them were hitting the take profit, some of them were not. So we just decided, hey, let's get out of everything. This could go down a lot more. This could bounce easily here. Let's not take the risk. Let's take the profit. And it's been a great day here, guys. I will say it's been a fantastic day so far, particularly on my main accounts, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, essentially what happened from there is we wicked down. We hit the 60 minute volume weighted ATR ban. And now it's looking like it wants to take another attempt at it. Um, we do have this wick here now. So we should be expecting to absorb that towards the other side fairly soon, potentially a retest of this trend line again. So maybe back up to 61 fairly soon here. And um, on this thing, if we are just looking at the volume weighted ATR bands, again, what this is, it's um, average true range weighted by volume. Okay, so you can see the 15 minute lower band and the 15 minute upper band. Uh, these are the average range for Bitcoin over a certain period of time, okay, on the 15 minute chart. So uh, yeah, right now we are below that. That is a sign that potentially we could get along if we reclaim it. So ideally, if we do come down here and we test these one more time and we kind of uh, get a bounce or rejection towards the upside, all we gotta do is reclaim this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band and we look for a little long scalp for potentially like 1% here. But uh, just be very, very careful with this thing uh, because uh, yeah, I mean, we are in a downtrend. You wanna be looking for shorts more than anything and not all of them are gonna be 1% there you saw with that recovery, but you can see one here. I mean, if you got in here, look, 1% <laughs> there, okay, 2% up to the top side, 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. So a lot of the time after a major dump here, guys, we can actually come up and hit the top side. So uh, we'll see if it is going to be one of these scenarios here, because uh, this is a pretty substantial dump, which I would expect a pretty substantial reaction from. So uh, maybe there is a trade all the way up here. We will see how this goes. But uh, yeah, 1% would only just about be up to uh, our resistance level anyway. So uh, that's probably the safest cautionary trade here uh, with the highest win percentage, unless you're a dirty gambler and you want to just bang it in, right? But uh, that's up to you. That's up to you at the end of the day, okay? <laughs> Not going to advise that. Uh, what we will say uh, with the chart right now, I mean, the macro doesn't look fantastic. Okay, it really, really doesn't. If we just bring up this, uh, we are still looking for some long-term trades, the macro trades. Again, from 73K up, we're looking for a trade to about 80K there, 10% beautiful stuff. Uh, if we find a short here and it's a crashing scenario, we essentially just need to lose this low. We need to lose the trap zone of the pattern, okay, and lose the bull market barrier. And we can target a 10% trade here towards the downside, which will be fantastic. Definitely taking profit this weekly vol volume weighted ATR band though. 
right? So uh, yeah, keeping an eye on this one. This is the next major trade I'm looking for. If we do want to continue down, I know a lot of people are bullish saying this is just the break from the bull run, blah, 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 blah. I probably agree with you there. But um, as long as we are kind of above this line, I do think it's it's possible to find trades towards downside uh, around this area. Uh, if, we, if we had this pattern down here, right, uh, it would be a slightly different story because I think there's just going to be too much buy pressure along this line, right? But the fact that we're quite quite far away from it, this line's currently down at 40k, uh, I think there is going to be room for another potential dump here. We do actually have some uh, convolution here as well around the bottom of that measure move. So it would make sense here to be finding that short if it is applicable. Uh, if not, then uh, yeah, there is a long again if we break this trend line. Ideally, again, I want to see 64k break for a trade up, but uh, if we can find one in the meantime uh, before then, that'd be fantastic. I just want to see a local high made first, right? And then if we break that high, we bang it. Okay, we bang it. Uh, and then we can also target any kind of new move that happens after this. So this pattern's basically done. All right. So if it is going to be some kind of symmetrical pattern or sorry, a parallel pattern here, like you would see, okay, a channel, then we could get a absolutely monstrous measure move uh, from that low if it does want to get down there, right? Uh, so uh, just just kind of uh, put this bluntly, right? We would basically find a trade breaking over the 60-minute volume waste ATR band around 64K, essentially the same uh, as we were looking at here, right? And uh, yeah, just targeting that measure move all the way up to the four hour volume weighted ATR band, which will be uh, roughly around 67K. So from 64.1 up to 67 would be a fantastic trade as well. But as of right now, we uh, we don't have this bottom side pattern confirmed. I mean, you could uh, draw some lines here, but I don't really like doing that too much. Okay, we've just broken the pattern. Let's see how low this goes. The measure move on that previous pattern as well was down to roughly around that area, right? This is why we drew this line. So uh, with this, let's just be careful. Let's wait for this thing to play out. If there are any trades, trades along the way. For example, reclaiming this 15 minute is a pretty decent edge after hitting both of these. Okay, so if after we hit these, if we reclaim that 15 minute, uh, we can sometimes find that 1% trade. All right, and I'll probably show you some examples of this as well, right? So um, again, we've got the four hour, we've got the 60 minute. All right, so again, four hour, 60 minute. All right, uh, this is probably not the great example. This is probably a better example, right? Uh, we've got the four hour, 60 minute here, right? These two we, we lose the 15 minute, okay, we start bouncing off of those, and then we get the reaction as the buy pressure steps in from the bots, right? So this is really the kind of stuff we're looking for here. We'll see if it does come into fruition, and we'll see if we can get that trade. But um, besides that, yeah, we are just chilling, waiting here. We've made a decent trade for the day. I'll probably uh, record a short here today for you guys as well, because the uh, reception has been great on that, right? The, um, the, the gambling shorts, okay? And again, guys, never follow those kind of like never never do anything like that that you see in my shorts feed okay because the shorts side is purely just me gambling all right it's just pure just throwing money at the wall okay sometimes it's a win sometimes it's a loss usually it's a 50 50 sometimes 60 40 uh if i'm if I'm actually thinking about the trades I'm taking, but normally it is just like, okay, we're at support. Let's bang in a 300X, uh, $3,000 trade, boom. Okay, so just make sure you're not doing stuff like that. This is a definitely do not try that at home. Okay, but feel free to check out my shorts if you want to anyway, right? Uh, but besides that, yeah, we have got back to that CME close area. So that gap is filled. We're looking for a potential bounce here, uh, or if it does want to go lower, uh, what we could potentially eye up here for a trade. And this is super risky, of course, because buy pressure will be super strong. But if we lose all of these today and it is a crashing scenario, then what we want to see is a retest and then a break of the low. And then we could potentially ride that down off of something like uh, like a, if we go to an hourly here, right? Off of something like an hourly uh, 7 SMA, right? So if it is going to be a scenario where we come down again, then uh, we watch the 7 SMA come down, okay? And then uh, we essentially, yeah, we, we have these two criterias together to make those trades, all right? I've been doing this a long time. This edge is pretty solid here. So we go down, okay, uh, we come back up, we retest the four hour and this, and then yes, uh, from this this area, we can essentially get in the trade, or if you're a bit more cautious, look for the low to break. Really depends where this low is, right? If this low is, uh, is a little bit higher, Okay, then uh, yeah, I mean, you could wait for that low. If it's super low and you're not going to get that percentage move, taking it off the one hour is absolutely fine. Uh, just be careful and cautious, right? Uh, if we lose that one hour at any point, get out of the trade. But typically with this one hour strategy, um, the one hour seven SMA strategy, what you want to look for is a 1% trade when you, re when you hit it. 
something like this. And then typically because the uh, the general trend is in that direction, the common sense actually allows you to make it a one-to-one -one trade. So you could have a 1% stop loss as well, and you're actually gonna win more than you lose just basically uh, because of the common sense of it being in a downtrend, right? A lot of traders, a lot of new traders don't get that. A lot of new traders will say, well, you've got one-to-one, -one, you're not gonna make any money, mate. It's just gonna be break even over a long period of time. And no, there are more variables. There are more things that you need to look at there. Uh, and one of them that is just super simple is which way is the trend? The trend is down. We're gonna bounce off of this uh, likely towards the downside. And if we lose at any point, multiple hourly closes above it, then uh, yeah, you could probably exit that trade for even less than one to one, right? And then you get that um, required uh, risk reward that some of you guys need, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I work on common sense, trend, volume, momentum. And uh, yeah, I mean, the trend is down. But uh, yeah, we're not in the short right now. Obviously, we are talking about this short. Uh, but I do, I did want to explain this a little bit more in depth for some of you guys uh, that may be a little lost watching this, right? Uh, again, Subscribe to the channel. Any questions? Let me know. Let me know in the in the in the description. No, let me know in the comments. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you have any questions, guys. I'm here to help you at the end of the day. All right. And if you do want to send me any of your trades on Discord or Telegram, feel free. I'll, I'll actually analyze them on the channel. I'm I'm looking for new types of content that I can make here uh, in this space for trading because it's obviously not a very big niche. And I want to attract some more of the mainstream audience to teach them the right way rather than them finding, I don't know, the moon or someone like this and, and, and getting completely destroyed by the markets, right? So, uh, yeah, feel free to, uh, to let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see. That is going to be it from me here today. Not too much else to talk about. Uh, feel free to check out the Patreon as I talked about because, uh, yeah, I mean, there's lots of good stuff in there. We, uh, we did have... <coughs> We do have uh, three signals out as well that we are looking to capitalize on. But uh, just just a quick little uh, little thing on this, right? What do you get if you uh, if you get involved with this thing, right? So you get all of our our bot driven calls, right? So that's on Telegram. We have a bot feed uh, which essentially gives signals all day uh, from the indicators we've made, right? And we know they're profitable over long term periods. Okay, we've got daily spot alerts, so buying coins at certain levels, and we have daily leverage trade alerts, which is the three signals we just put out today. I think one of them's already playing out but the other two are there but we put them out every day for the paid members right uh, besides that you get to join the discord private section you also get an ebook okay which shows you all of my coins we're talking about 50 60 coins that i'm targeting for this bull run <clears throat> and um what else have we got here buying chester a beer or a coffee <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Love that. I didn't even write that. Uh, what have we got here? Um, yeah, 50% discount on all New Money Network courses. That is uh, on New Money Network. Uh, let me just show you. All of these courses here. So any any way you can make money with the internet, we've made a course on it. Okay, these are usually super, super expensive, as you can see here. And we also have uh, the Crypto Masterclass as well. Okay, uh, we've stopped doing webinars for that. This is really the only way you can get it. Uh, you can get it uh, via paying like this, or you can get it um, by accessing these, right? And you get a massive discount on those. So this one, you get 50% off. This one, I think, is 80 or 70% off. Uh, and then this one is is uh, <coughs> 85%. And then the biggest one, I actually got this wrong yesterday. You do get all all courses. The discount is on all of the courses on the website. Okay, so you get all of them for free if you just uh, have this uh, subscription, right? So uh, feel free to check that out as well. <coughs> and then you also get um, all, of the, all of the indicators that I use in my videos, right? So feel free to check it out. Uh, if it's not for you, absolutely fine. You can just press follow for free and get one free signal from me. It's fine every single day, okay? Uh, so uh, yeah, it's up to you guys if you want to join that. If not, absolutely fine. You can also join it by becoming a certain, like all of those tiers are available on uh, YouTube memberships, right? So feel free to uh, use that instead if that's your preferred platform, all right? And there are a bunch of you guys on there doing that, okay? That's where the majority of you are, okay? So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Let's see if we can find any trades here today. But uh, yeah, I, I wish you the best. Have a great one, all of that good stuff. And thank you for the messages. I'm feeling a lot better. All right, cheers.